man. It's been a while. Hey guys, welcome back. I should welcome myself back because it's been a long time since I filmed. Uh, it's probably been like two months. Oh, but my apologies for anybody who's been waiting for a video. I don't know if anyone's been waiting for one, but if you have, I'm sorry. I'm sick right now, but I've been desperate to film. And so I'm just gonna push through being sick to film this because I want to film it. It's exciting. As you know by the title, you already know what's gonna happen. I am reviewing the Anastasia, what is it called? I don't even know. Prism eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna do this in the same format that I did my last eyeshadow palette review, or it was a dupe for the subculture palette. Um, that's the video before this. So I'll link that down below, but I did two different looks, one on each eye in that last video and you guys seem to like it. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this first impression. So comes in the nice soft matte box. Um, ignore my nails cause they look stupid right now. And the packaging on this is very nice. I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see it's soft velvet matte. I mean, velvet black. I'm gonna try to block, do a close up of the shades. So, I'm a little nervous <laughs> doing this video because, oh man, my under eyes look so dry. Uh, because the last eyeshadow palette that they had was a flop, and to be honest, I don't see a lot of people reviewing this palette on YouTube so far. I'm wondering if it's because of the last eyeshadow palette. I don't know, but um, I thought we'd try this one in case any of you guys were wanting to get this and if it's worth your money because the last one probably wasn't. Also, because I'm not like that prepared, uh, my makeup brushes are dirty and I'm like trying to clean them real quick. So that we can start this first impression. I did swatch these. And I'm not gonna lie, in the swatches, they look good. Uh, I didn't see any funny business with the swatches. Um, but we'll see once we put it on a brush and then rub it on our eyes. I have no idea. Oh man, I miss filming you guys. I hope, did you, does anyone care? <laughs> no. So I just wanna say I did prime and set my eyelids already with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I don't know where it is, Prime Potion, whatever. So I already primed my eyes. I am going to try and go with the colors that I usually wouldn't go with just because uh, who cares about the shadows that are kind of basic and everyday. Um, I think people that are going to be buying this palette are going to want to be using the more dramatic different eyeshadows that you usually wouldn't go for on an everyday basis. So that's what I'm going to try to do. We'll see how that goes. Oh man, I don't know. I want to go in with, oh man, I want to go in with Throne. It is just so crazy pretty, but I don't know. The struggle is real, y'all. We're just going to go with Lore, which is a taupey, pinky mauve color in the crease, just because there's not a lot of options. So I'm going to go in with the fluffy end of the Anastasia brush. In the crease. Oh, that's a really soft brush. That's not bad. Pigment is nice. Cool tone crease shade. So this color so far, really nice. I'm just trying to like blend that out. Oh, I should zoom in. So my under eyes look hella dry. Ignore that. The weather just changed and it's now cold, so <laughs> pretend my dry under eyes are not there. And now I want to go in with Throne. It is just so pretty. It looks really nice. I'm gonna go in with it dry first because I want to see how pigmented it is. Oh man, I feel like I should go in with another color because to deepen it up a little bit. I don't know. We're just, we're winging it. We're, I don't know. We're gonna go in with Throne. It looks really dark. Ooh, y'all, that is so pretty. <gasps> oh my god. 
That is nice. Ooh. Oh my god. I feel like I should have went in with the warm crease shade. Damn. Regrets. We're just gonna keep going though. That's so pretty. It's dark. Like, I don't know, it's a daytime look for most people, but I would. I would rock this during the day. That is so pretty. I need a mirror. One of those mirrors that zooms in real close to your eye because I can't hardly see. I'm just gonna go in with a clean-ish brush and blend that out. Oh man. I need to get another mirror. I'm hoping you guys can see. Okay. I don't know how easy this is to blend out. With a clean brush, even. I'm gonna go in because I'm having a hard time with Saturn in the crease. Just to see if maybe that helps blend things a little bit. Because I'm having a hard time blending this beautiful, gorgeous eyeshadow shade. I'm having a hard time. Oh man, this got real dark real quick. I think that's helping. It definitely added some warmth, which I mean, I really didn't want to do. But, you know, now we gotta go with it. So I gotta blend that out again because it is just so much blending. I, I'm not gonna lie, that blue shade was a little bit hard to, to work with. I don't like to spend a crap ton of time blending because as it is, it already takes me like forever to do my makeup. So... Just be forewarned, that shadow is a little bit difficult to blend. Now, I feel like with all that blending I did kind of like settle it down a little bit. It's a little subtle. Is that even a word? Settle it down? I don't know. Let me see. Let me try my finger and see how that looks. I don't mean to flip anyone off, so... Oh man, that's so nice. I feel like I need to zoom in for you guys to see this beauty up close. It is perfect for October and fall. It's beautiful. I love this eyeshadow shade. It is gorgeous. Okay, so I feel like that blended fairly well now, like after some work. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with the same beautiful blue, teal, dark color on the bottom. This is very dark and uh, vampy. I wasn't going for something this dramatic. I'm letting the colors do what it wants. Now I want, I need some brightness in this eye cause it's looking a little very dark. So I'm gonna go in with sphere and it's like a neon lime a neon lime that's what it is uh, i think it'll complement the turquoise really well this one is it has fallout so be warned uh i don't know if i can show this without it falling everywhere it has fallout i barely tapped it so i mean i'm not surprised though it's a neon so yeah i don't know that one's uh i think it needs a white base to pop so let me go get a white something just to make sure that the inner corner is really bright i'm gonna go in with a cream eyeshadow um this is by nyx it's the nyx jumbo pencil in white okay just a little bit and if i can find a brush i'm gonna blend that out a little bit okay and then now we'll go in with Sphere. I think that's enough for this eye. So the neon, it looks pretty good on the eyes. I don't know if I'm like amazed by it. Uh, this teal blue, oh, it's so beautiful. It's really dark, but I'll zoom in so that you guys can see how pretty it looks. 
And this Laura shade is a Laura. Yeah, Laura. It's really pretty. It blended really easily. And I did put a little bit of um, Saturn, which is really pretty, into the crease. It added a little bit of warmth. Uh, and the other eye, I don't know what to use. I feel like I would not want to use Osiris. Is that how you say it? It's like a purpley blue. Just because uh, it's not usually like my favorite. Like, I, I'm tempted to use this one because it's just beautiful. Oh, I don't know if you can see this color because it's so pretty. And this one and this one. But like, I feel like I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me do a swatchy of that one. It's so dark though. I wish I had four eyes so I could use like all the eyeshadows in this palette. No, we're going to go in with Lore again on the crease. I like their brush. It, it's fluffy. It works well. Blends the shadow out nicely. So I like that the brush is actually good. Okay. I think that's good. Now let's go in with Osiris. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it is the purpley shade right here. I'm not too thrilled to use it. It's just not my cup of tea, but oh no, I got a good amount. Oh, please tell me this is going to work. Okay, that's better. I got nervous right there for a second. <laughs> okay. Let's pack this on. I'm just trying to blend it out with the same brush a little bit. Because I had trouble with the other brush. I mean, it's a pretty color, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty. I just need to get used to a color like this. It's dark, which I don't mind. I love dark shadows, like a smoky eye, yes, but purple? It doesn't look that sparkly. I feel like all the sparkle kind of fell off as I was blending, which I'm not mad at, but. So there is the purple. Yeah, like this side is way more sparkly and in the pan, they look like the same type of shadow. It has the shimmer, like it looks the same just in a different color. But on the eyes, this one is way more shimmery. And the shimmer in this one looks like it just kind of flaked off. Um, so you're just left with a very dark purple, almost blackish purple. It's really pretty though, especially for brown eyes. So I feel like on top of that, I want to go in with... Um, Dimension, which is a shimmery uh, purple. It's a, like a lilac, a shimmery lilac. I'm gonna go in with the other side of this brush because honestly, I need I need to wash my brushes. Oh yeah, just on the center. Give me some of that sparkle back. That is pretty. I think I'll do just the same thing I did on the top. Um, I'm gonna go in with Cyrus the Dark Purple on the bottom lash line. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Lore and blend that out. So I'm gonna get Lucid, that Highlight, shade. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, yeah. Let's put on some liner because, like, I feel like my eyes are begging me. All right, guys. So I applied liquid liner on my lids, some black liner on my waterline. I applied some mascara because I don't have any false lashes, and I think we're done. Um. I'll be honest, I am a bit surprised with this palette. I didn't think I would have liked it as much as I do. I really like it. The colors that I didn't think I would really like, I do like more than I initially thought I would. And I'm sure I'm going to like the shades that I didn't get to play with, which are the ones I gravitate towards, which are the warmer shades. These two, this brown, 
and this brown and then this warm shade. I didn't play with those or the black in this palette. Those are the ones that you could wear every day easily. They're very wearable. I play with the neon green, lore, what is this one called? A siren and throne. What else? Oh, I did use Saturn and then these two shimmery shades. So I used a lot of the palette and I'll just go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see the shadows up close. All right guys, so that concludes the demo of these eyeshadows and out of, you know, one to 10, I'd give it a 10. So far, I didn't have any issues with any of the eyeshadows. There is a little bit of fallout in um, Sphere, which is the neon green, but really it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you just gotta be gentle. Um, you're not obviously gonna go crazy digging into your shadows. Um, all the colors are really, really pretty. I'd say my favorite out of the ones I tried so far is definitely Throne. I will do some arm swatches so that you guys can kind of see close up how they look and feel on the skin because I feel like my eyeshadow is just, it looks really good in person, but as I watch the video back, I feel like you're not getting the beauty of this color. Um, I think it's a really good fall palette uh, because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, when I looked at it, I was like, is it a need palette? Like, do you really need this palette? Out of all the other palettes that are out and maybe the ones that you already own, is this a must-have? I think it's a really good palette. I don't have colors like Throne. Um, I mean, I don't know about the other colors. I probably have colors like them, but they're all in different palettes. So I really like this. I give it a 10 out of 10 so far. I have not used all the colors, but most of them, all of them worked fine for me so far. So yeah, it's a really, really, really nice palette. I love Throne. It's my favorite. It's like a dragon. It reminds me of a dragon. Like it's sparkly, teal, dark. It's just really, really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, I'll get to the arm swatches. <laughs> Thank God this palette was not a dud. I think Anastasia Beverly Hills obviously knew that they had to do something different with this palette in the formula or whatever. It's great. I love it. We'll be keeping it. Um, I'm, I'm, I imagine this is probably going to be my go-to palette for the fall because it has almost every color you would need. So yeah, anyways, I keep babbling on. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys are going to try this palette out. And if you already have, tell me, do you like it as much as I do? What's your favorite color? Because mine is definitely Throne. Do you love that color as much as I do? Because right now I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's so pretty. Another video will be coming up very soon. It's Halloween inspired. And I think I'm going to be doing some fall makeup tutorials real soon. So stick around for that. Thank you guys for watching. I missed you. I hope you missed me. And if you're subscribed, make sure you hit that notification button because I don't know if you guys are getting notified about my new videos. So you don't have to, obviously. Um, it's the little bell somewhere down here. And subscribe. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next video hopefully very soon. Bye guys. Don't let me go.